Hi, I'm Steve Dudash at IHT Wealth Management. Welcome to this week's Wealthcast. Okay, so here's what we're not going to talk about this week. We're not going to talk about wiretapping and who did it or didn't do it. We're not going to talk about healthcare law changes and if they are going to happen or not going to happen and who's affected by it. Once that gets passed and stuff or doesn't pass, we'll talk about that more. But today we're going to talk about fun stuff. We're going to talk about the brackets. These are my teams. Don't bet against them. They're going to win. They better win because Villanova, you, you crushed me. But what does that mean to people's portfolios and how does it tie in? And I'm going to use the example that makes me feel warm and fuzzy right now, Duke. And all those Duke fans out there that love to make Duke win, put in their brackets that they're going to win it all because the emotional tie of how great Duke is and whatever. Um, why I'm saying that is because, one, they lost early, which was kind of funny, but two, they looked at this from an emotional standpoint as, a, as opposed to a rational person who would said Duke's probably not quite the same team that they've been in the past. People's portfolios are the same. Um, someone worked at a company, let's use AT&T as the classic example, worked at a company for 40 years or whatever, and now they have a ton of AT&T stock and all the baby bells that came out of it. And now half of their investment portfolio is tied into one piece that um, and carries a huge amount of risk if something bad happens to just one little sliver of the world. People currently working at jobs, and then they have their 401ks, and it's overweighted in their company stock because they get it at a discount, and it grows and grows, and that's great, and it could be a wonderful company that's growing well. But you should never, and this is the important part of this, you should never have more than 10% of your net worth in any one thing. Don't care what that one thing is. You can't let it get bigger than that. You can't let the emotion of it overwhelm you and let it grow and grow and grow because if something bad happened to your current company and you have a bunch of your stock in it, not only do you lose your job, but you lose a chunk of your net worth in the same swoop. So call someone like us, and I'm sure our phone number or email address is popping up here, but call someone like us and we can help you take the emotional side out of your investments and maybe sit down with you and say, yes, it's great that you bought this stock 20 years ago or this fund or whatever, and it was wonderful 20 years ago, but today doesn't make sense for you to continue to be a part of it. We can take the emotion out of it and help you diversify in the right way. So uh, don't bet against these teams are going to win today. Hope your brackets do well as long as it includes these guys. And uh, have a nice weekend, and we'll talk next week.